this is our blood vessel model and it is representative of the vessels that we would have in our limbs where we have one artery with a vein on each side. Now veins and arteries have the same three tunics. The innermost tunic is an endothelium called the tunica intima which is made up of a simple squamous epithelium. The middle tunic is the tunica media which has in arteries a lot of smooth muscle. And then on the external, the more outermost layer, is the tunica externia or the adventitia. We can take a look at some of the differences between arteries and veins. So arteries have much more smooth muscle in the tunica media than veins do. Arteries tend to be smaller in diameter than the comparable veins. And we can also see that in veins, we have these valves which prevent backflow of blood. So we can determine the flow of blood by the orientation of the valves. So here, blood is flowing up in the valves, and then the blood flow in the arteries is opposite, so it must be flowing down. Our conducting arteries in the abdominal or thoracic cavity have a lot more elastic tissue than they do smooth muscle because they don't have the need to change their shape as much. The blood that is flowing through these vessels cannot provide oxygen to these vessels, so we have a network of vessels that supplies oxygen and nutrients to them. This model here shows the vas of visorum and we can see we have a vein and an artery and we can see we have the three layers and we can see the network of capillaries that are bringing blood and nutrients to the arteries and the veins and then it, they are drained back into the vein. So if you look at a cross section of a vessel you can determine the inside from the outside by locating the vas of visorum which are mostly in the tunica externia.